Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is about uh, syncing watches to the atomic radio time signal that's transmitted from towers around the world. Now if you look at the back of a watch that has time uh, multiband 6 or multiband 5 on the back of it, that means this watch is capable of synchronizing to these uh, time radio uh, towers. So there are four regions that are covered by this. There's the North American region, which has its tower uh, at Fort Collins, Colorado. There's the European region, which has towers in England and Germany. Uh, there's the Chinese region, uh, which has uh, um, a tower in Shangxi, and Japan, which has two towers, one in Fukushima and one in Kyushu. Now, if your watch says multiband 5 instead of multiband 6, that just means that it's the multiband 5 regions, which is everywhere except China. Now, if you are outside the range of these stations, such as where I am here in Australia, you need to be a little bit more resourceful to get your uh, watches synchronized. So to do that I use an app called Radio Wave Sync and what that app does is use your mobile phone to simulate one of these radio time towers. In fact it uh, defaults to one of the Japanese towers. This is the safest bet because some Japanese watches actually only synchronize to the Japan tower. Now just to show you on this Wave Scepter watch, uh, which I'm going to show in a future video, Holding the bottom right button forces a manual synchronization. Now you can see here that nothing has happened, uh, and that is because the time zone of the watch is set to Sydney at the moment, and Casio in their wisdom have decided that if your time zone is going to be too far away from a tower that it won't even let you do a manual sync. So you can see I've changed the time zone back to Tokyo. Now if I hold the bottom right button, the watch will go into receive mode and start looking for the radio tower, which in this case is our fake tower we set up with the phone. Now I've sped this up a bit because it takes about a minute or so, and you can see I've actually got two watches synchronizing at the same time here. You need to keep them quite close to the phone and have very little ex uh, external noise, and the watches will eventually get the signal. Once they've got it, just reset it back there, and you can see that they're absolutely perfectly synchronized. The only thing you have to remember is, of course, to change the time zone back to uh, to your local time zone. This is a mistake I've sadly made more than once in the past. Now, I actually find it quite mesmerizing to look at uh, two watches that are so perfectly synchronized, but it does have practical uses uh, when you're working uh, with something that requires very accurate timekeeping, such as uh, scheduling trains or working in a hospital where you need to record exactly when certain actions were taken, that sort of thing. Okay, thanks again. I hope this was interesting and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.